Indigenous peoples have been doing science for so long, longer than anybody. In fact, First Nations have used science for over 65,000 years. It's within our culture, within our heritage to do science. Hi, my name is Carly Noon and I'm an astrophysicist from Gamilaro country. Science is about making observations and collecting data and being able to interpret that data into the bigger picture. So Indigenous peoples have been doing science for as long as we can possibly imagine. So when we think about the relevance of Indigenous science today, it's actually the oldest scientific records that we have access to. One thing that I've been really interested in is how Indigenous peoples predict the weather. So essentially, all these observations can be used to understand different atmospheric conditions. Uh, one example of this is moon halos. So a moon halo is where light is reflected from the moon. Usually a full moon needs to be quite bright and a full moon is very bright. And so what indigenous people do is they can see these halos and they have an understanding that these halos uh, reflect what's happening in the atmosphere, uh, that these clouds exist really high up in the atmosphere, and that these clouds actually represent kind of a warning that storms are approaching. Now, this can be viewed in lots of different ways. One thing uh, different mobs do is they can count how many stars they can see between the moon and the, the halo itself, and use that to determine how severe the storm will actually be. There's lots of other variables they can take into account as well. Uh, basically the same thing that we do today to predict the weather, taking lots of different variables uh, to try and make the most accurate prediction possible. As an astrophysicist, I'm really trying to understand uh, specifically how our galaxy works. So our galaxy, it's this beautiful spiral galaxy. Um, it's twirling, all of the stars are twirling in this motion. And right in the center, we have this really big, super massive black hole. And our galaxy goes through all these different processes that essentially enable planets like our Earth, suns like our suns to exist. And so I'm really trying to understand what the processes are, how those processes lead to something like Earth, which then of course leads to life. Science is really one of the main fields that pushes society forward. And so I think it's really important uh, what direction we're pushing in. So I think, you know, listening to Indigenous scientists, Indigenous peoples and their knowledge systems is, is incredibly vital in today's age because we're at a, at a time where we need to be thinking really critically in what direction we want to go in. What do we want our future to look like? Uh, and I think, you know, there's no better examples of, uh, you know, making positive change and, and making sustainable decisions than uh, Indigenous peoples. Throughout history, First Nations peoples, perspectives and knowledge has contributed significantly to science and technology and will continue to do so for generations to come. I hope you enjoy learning about science with style.